Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matero and we are here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your custom PNG trophy mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder, so like always make sure you download and install all of the requirements that's in some of the description below. Make sure you download this mod, I will leave this mod in some of my description below as well, so make sure you guys download this mod as well. Once you guys have completed that process, then we are going to get straight into the video. All you guys gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. As you guys can see, I have already installed my requirements, so I don't need to install my requirements for use. Once you guys have completed installing your requirements, then all you guys gotta do next is head to your scripts folder. Now inside my scripts folder, I do have only one mod file that's inside my folder, which is Pets Selector for add-on pets. Now all you guys gotta do next inside my description, there is a native UI version 1.8. I'm very sorry guys, but this mod only works on native UI version 1.8. It does not work on the latest version. I have tested this mod on version 1.9.1 and it does not work on that version and it does not work on 1.9 as well. So the only native UI that it works on is native UI version 1.8. So inside my description I will leave native UI version 1.8 inside my description so make sure you guys do download that and open up the extract folder and then just click on native UI.drl file and then drag it inside your script folder exit out of your extract folder now open up your custom peds extract folder and there will be about a few files that's in there and a folder just copy the whole thing okay and then drag all the files and folder that's inside there and then drag it into your scripts folder. Exit out of your custom pens extract folder. Now all you guys got to do next okay is go back to your granted order v main folder. Right click and refresh your game folder. Exit out of your game folder. Right click and refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back as fragments. So as you guys can see, we are in the game and we are going to spawn our girlfriend right next to Franklin. So to open up the your girlfriend mod menu is press your O key on the keyboard. And then now you guys can use your arrow keys if you want to. Um, you can um, change your player menu. You can go into the dressing room, but I'm not gonna go in there and and do some stuff uh, you can clean yourself if you want to now with your girlfriend menu uh, you can preload your girlfriend if you want to it's totally up to you uh, there's already some girlfriends in here but except for Franklin you can delete and add peds inside here too guys if you want to and I'm going to do default and recreate 
and do it again. So yes guys, so um, what you can do, okay? If you guys are picking a peer, okay? Make sure you go to Graphing Menu first, then go to go to Preload first, and pick which one you want, then go to Recreate, okay? And then after that, go to Dressing Room, and then it will be sent to the Dressing Room. And you can change your your peer, okay? So go to, yeah, so yeah, guys, you can change your hairstyle if you want to. But I'm not gonna go over the, over this whole thing, okay? You guys know what to do. Save skin, and then now I'm gonna name it as a new file, and then now I'm gonna call my girlfriend mod. Um, I'm gonna call it Max Maxine. I don't know. I'm just gonna call him any name, and then now press OK, and now your girlfriend has been saved. Now all you guys gotta do is back out of here and then now there she is right there. Now if you're gonna delete her, okay, or if you quit the game, okay, then you can bring her back again. All you gotta do, okay, is that I'm going to delete her again and, and show you guys how to bring her out again. Now all you guys gotta do to bring her out again is press your O key on your keyboard then go down to girlfriend menu. Then go down to preload. Then now find your girlfriend mod or your girlfriend that you want it. My one is Maxine. Then go back out of here. Then now recreate. And there you go, guys. There she is. So yeah, and she will always, always follow you. Uh, always have your back. Got your get, got your guns, and got your weapons, and uh, yeah, she will always follow you no matter what. Uh, make sure that if you want her to drive you around, make sure you go back to the to the menu, and make sure when you go to your girlfriend menu, make sure that the settings on driving uh, on change seat is on left front. Okay, it all depends on where the driving the the driver wheel is okay then when you go back to your player menu okay make sure your one is right front okay uh no right front over here change this up change your change your seat to right front okay guys there you go and yeah so that's how you guys do it okay so that's how you guys um, actually install the mod and use the mod, okay? So I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. And we are back again, guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. I'm very sorry that it took a while, okay, guys? But uh, yes, guys, um, the only way to actually make this mod work is that you got to have the, the native UI version 1.8 inside your sketch folder okay but if you guys do get stuck okay then let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you guys out so if you guys have any questions then let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you guys out if you guys get stuck with any other mods then let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you guys out okay so with that all said i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys did then smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.